Hey loves, Tony here and welcome back to my channel. It's super early in the morning. I am not usually like full face and dressed with an iron shirt this early. This is a true treat because I did go out to the mailbox in my big furry robe today, just planning to bring in a bunch of bills like I always do, but there was something extremely special in the mailbox today. So you guys might remember a couple podcast episodes ago, I talked about a new hook that I got from my friend Mackenzie at Bee Queen Collection. They're her blend hooks, which have a metal tip and then a hand-turned wood handle. I've been using my hook like crazy for the weeks that I've had it. And when I talked about it in that podcast episode, Mackenzie actually happened to listen to it. And I said that one day I wanted to have an entire set and Mackenzie was like, we can make that happen. This sweet baby angel. I'm so excited because my hooks are here. I haven't even opened this package yet and it is taking all the restraint I have not to tear into these right now, but I was like, you know what? Let's do this right. I'm gonna open it for my babes. I'm gonna show off my new hooks because I will now have a full set of blend hooks from Bee Queen Collection. So I'm gonna flip this camera around and we're gonna get into this goodness right now. All right, loves, here it is. Like I can feel all of the separate boxes in here because uh, McKinsey packages all of the hooks separately. So I'm so excited to get up in here. Let's grab some scissors. Be very careful with the merchandise. Get up in here. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, she's slick. Okay, McKenzie. Okay, so Mackenzie did tell me a little bit about this bag. She said it's going to be a special little gift with purchase for the November orders um, just to kind of jazz up things around Christmas time. So that is pretty fun. Okay. Oh my gosh. Box after box after box. My gosh. I can't even deal. This is insane. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to calm down. I'm gonna calm down, but I'm really, really excited about this. Can we talk about this bag? Can we talk about how cute this bag is? It's like a little black canvas bag. I just love Mackenzie's marketing. It's like, oh, she's got like little tabbies in them, so I know what numbers they are. Fabulous. Wait, somebody's tabs came off. <gasps> oh no. Wait, so this is seven. I'm gonna open these in order. She like set it up real fancy for me. I don't know whose tab this is. Okay, so this is four. Okay, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there, okay. I'm going to make some adjustments. I'm going to clean up the area and then we're going to get into these boxes. Okay, so I found some semblance of calm here. These two boxes, their little tabbies fell off. So they're mystery boxes for right now. So I'm just going to set those here. But what I did is I put these in order as best as I could. There are eight total boxes. So we're going to start with box one and move our way up. Now, Mackenzie, I'm going to cover this up so you can't see which, which woods they are. There we go. So Mackenzie gave me this little cheat sheet. And you can see that her hook sizes range from 2.25 all the way up to a six. Um, so she sent me the entire set and we're gonna start with this baby right here this is lucky number one. Oh my gosh I cannot wait to get into these oh tell me gimme 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 they're like wrapped up like little jewels I freaking love it so much so this is number one. Oh, hello hello darling can we see, can we get up into this? This wood is called Yucatan Rosewood. You can see some beautiful like brownish, reddish tones in here. The crown that we came up with, you can see it a little bit, but it's got like a black ring on either side of this wood piece here. And it's got a little, uh, a little ball there on the top. Uh, the old hooks that I had had a point and I really like the ball. It made it so I wouldn't hurt myself quite so much. Oh my gosh, so pretty. So that's number one. So we'll set her right here. Let's move on to number two. Oh my gosh. Oh, so this one is, it says black. Oh no, this is 3.25. Wait. Oh, this is box number three. Okay. So this one is actually red heart. So box number two has to be one of these, but this is my 3.25 and you can definitely see all of the redness happening here. Absolutely beautiful. The fact that they do these all by hand, like, can you believe this? I kind of can't, I kind of can't believe it, but I know it's true. I've seen their process. It's beautiful. And that same crown on there, the beautiful red heart. 
So they're really intentional about sourcing their woods, about making sure that everything is safe, not only for them as they're working it, but for the consumers as well. Really, really knowledgeable, really conscious about their product. All right, so this is box number four, I think. I think the tag fell off, oops. <laughs> All right. Oh my God, each one is so different and I love it so much. So this is the three and a half millimeter and this is, I think it's pronounced guanciallo, I think. Look at that grain. It, it's almost like it's burnt on the top, but not really like, look at this, my God. That same crown, but it almost looks different on each hook because of the wood, of the grain of that wood. And what's fantastic about a hand-turned wooden hook is that yours is gonna look completely different from somebody else's. Oh my gosh. I feel like really, really spoiled right now. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Okay. <laughs> Number six. Oh yes, ooh, that just feels, mm. I wish you could feel this. And like what I love about it is I have big hands. That is not a secret. We all know this, this is, the, we're aware. I have big hands, but these fit so perfectly in my hands. Like this little divot falls right into my pinky. My thumb has a perfect place to land. Like I, I am just so happy. All right, so number four, this is a four millimeter and this is, Bocote, B-O-C-O-T-E. I don't know how to pronounce that. Please, all you wood aficionados out there, help me out. <laughs> Tell me what I'm saying wrong. B-O-C-O-T-E. It almost looks like, like a lion, like a tiger or something, like with the striping. I'll get that a little bit closer. Each wood is so different and so gorgeous. I I literally cannot deal. But like the craftsmanship, the consistency of the product, like. Each one of these looks so similar. It almost looks like it's like casted in a die or something, but I know that they do each one of these by hand. It's just truly blowing my mind. Okay. Oh, this is a four and a half millimeter and this one is zebra wood. So a little bit lighter than the last one. Definitely the lightest of the woods that we've seen so far, but you still get all of that beautiful grain, all of that kind of unique texture to it. And you can tell this is made from like a solid piece of wood because that grain is running all the way down the hook. So gorgeous. I'll get you a little bit closer. Same crown, four and a half millimeter. And it's optional to have McKenzie kind of punch in the hook size, but I like for her to be able to do that for me because that way I don't have to like take a Sharpie to my gorgeous hooks and write it in myself or have to use um, a gauge ruler to check my hook every time I grab one. So beautiful. And this is, oh wow. This is the six millimeter. So this is the zero coat. That is deep. It's not the black wood, but it's definitely a dark, dark wood. So you can see that grain in there still. You can see that it's not exactly black, but it's definitely dark. And it just feels so good and solid in my hands. Like I don't feel like I'm gonna break this. It's definitely not fragile, but it's just, it's solid and it feels really good. And that hook head on there, this is the same hook head that you'll find on the Clover Amours or the Clover Soft Touch. I know Mackenzie and Brian don't really advertise that a lot, but it's a selling point for me because Clo my Clover Amours are my absolute favorite hooks of all the hooks that I have, hundreds of hooks that I have. And my Clover Amours are my favorite. So the fact that these have that pretty handle and then you get that Clover Amour hook head, like, what more could you possibly want? I mean, come on. All right, now we're gonna open our mystery boxes. See what we're working. Oh, that's the Blackwood. Yes, darling. Oh, Ebony. Oh, she's so pretty. So this one is my 2.75 millimeter hook. This is Blackwood and I just, I love everything about this. I have one other Blackwood hook and I love how 
like that you can still get the feel of the wood through here but it is pretty much solid black if you're if you are a little bit closer to this like if you were here in person you can kind of see a little bit of the grain that's still happening so you've got a deep black I mean a deep brown and even deeper brown working next to each other and it's just so beautiful it's just so beautiful okay so you need to move over and make space for your sister right there okay and one more hook to open up together last box and this is supposed to be bolivian rose wood <sighs> look at you she's your queen to be oh she's gorgeous just that really rich brown can you believe these are all beautiful natural woods and they all look so very different? So this is my 3.75, which is actually a size I use a lot for uh, thinner yarn. So like lace weight or fingering weight. Again, you can see that gorgeous grain all worked from one solid piece of wood. So each one is gonna be unique. Each one is hand turned. Um, and the nice thing about uh, Bee Queen Collection is when you purchase your hooks, you get to customize just about everything about it. You can customize the wood, you can customize the crown, you can customize the size, whatever it is that you want. So Mackenzie and Brian have now transitioned away from their solid wood hooks, and they're gonna be offering the blend hooks. The wooden tips that they were carving before, like you can do your absolute best, but they're only going to be so strong. I'm going to tighten down a little bit so you guys can really, really feel these babies. So these kinds of hooks are going to last you a lot longer because these tips are not nearly as fragile. And what's nice is you get a nice long length of the tips here. So depending on how you crochet, you might definitely prefer that over having a shorter tip. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling hella spoiled, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Hey loves, I'm back. I've had a couple of days to play around with my hooks and I'm gonna make a grainy square while I tell you a bit about my experience, plus give you some info on how to get your hands on your own blend crochet hooks from Bee Queen Collection. So the first thing I have to comment on is the craftsmanship. Not only are these hooks beautiful, but they are extremely well made. The wood on them is solid and buffed to a gorgeous shine. I asked Mackenzie a bit about the process and she told me that they produce their hooks as naturally as possible. They use no dyes, no chemicals, and no stains on the woods and each hook is hand polished with natural oils. Now when it comes to the actual hook head you can rest assured that the tips are not going to come loose. Take it from me I tried pretty hard to loosen the tip on the handle of each hook just to stress test it a little bit. Not one of the tips would budge. Not a one. This tells me that these hooks will work wonderfully for a very long time. And then lastly, I can't help but mention again how gorgeous these hooks are. For all of their practicality, all of their gorgeousness, each wood really shines and sets itself apart. I couldn't possibly pick a favorite wood, but if I had to, zebra wood and olive wood are definitely at the top of my list. Now I already know, I already know that there's gonna be more than one comment on the price of these crochet hooks. A bare bones standard blend hook is gonna run you $44. That's just, that's just how much it costs. Some of the more exclusive woods and some of the fancy crown types are gonna even bump that price higher. And I'll be honest, these hooks are not for everyone. I personally look at them as an investment into the quality of my crochet experience as well as a treat for myself, but each crochet is gonna to have to decide if that's a good choice for them. If you're interested in getting your hands on a blend hook from Bee Queen Collection, make sure you set your alarms for 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time on the first of the month. Then you can head over to BeeQueenCollection.com at that time and customize your hooks. But you have to be quick about it. There's going to be a limited number of hooks on offer, usually around 35. Once those 35 hooks are purchased, sales are closed until the next month. You can't get one. You're going to have to wait. I want to give a big thank you to Mr. and Mrs. Bee Queen for inviting me to partner with them. And if you're still watching this, I hope you'll consider supporting this amazing handmade business. I've been rocking with Mackenzie and Bee Queen Collection since the very beginning. I have so many of their hooks from the early completely hand carved ones all the way up to this blend collection. I've loved every single product I've gotten from them. Links directly to the Bee Queen Collection website are down in the description. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time.